Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here playing Life is Strange episode 5 all 10 optional photos for the selfie awareness achievement and trophy. This video is full of spoilers, so keep that in mind. The first optional photo can be found about 30 minutes into the episode once you get into the classroom. Once you stand up after answering the Daguerrean process question, you can go up to the right hand side, talk to Kate, uh, comfort her, and then after you have her conversation and hug her, you'll be able to take a photo of her getting your first optional photo. Eventually you'll end up in an art gallery and then once you have control over Max You'll want to go forward to the right and then down the stairs into this kind of basement area where you can see this red-headed girl sitting in front of six photos Interact with her camera in order to take a photo Now we'll be back in the dark room and Mr. Jefferson will basically say that he's ready to kill you. As soon as he does that, you'll have to ask him for one last favor. You might have to rewind time in order to get that request. And once you have these four options on the screen, make sure you choose one last picture. Now you'll be able to rewind back to those four options if you choose a different one. But if you solve the puzzle, you will not be able to rewind. Keep that in mind. You're going to have to ask him to take a picture of you. That counts as your optional photo. I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. Now we've made our way to the diner and we've successfully stopped it from exploding. What we're going to want to do is from the sand pit, turn around behind us and look at the giant whale in the road. At that point, you can quickly snap a photo of it. And the fifth optional photo is right next to this. Uh, right after you take the photo of this whale, you'll want to turn around basically directly behind you. Look up and you'll notice a car on the roof. You want to get a good angle at this car and take a picture of it for your fifth optional photo. Remember, it only works from the angle that I'm going to be showing you, so make sure you're doing it at the same angle that I am. You'll end up back in the classroom yet again, and for this one, we're gonna have to interact with the small etching marks on the desk. After you interact with them, you should be able to take a photo of them. For whatever reason, I had to interact with them twice, but I have someone who told me that they only had to interact with it once, so you do whatever you need to do. Just interact with it, and then take a photo of it. I don't care if this is a dream or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. So eventually you'll end up in this kind of endless hallway sequence. You'll be Victoria and then you'll snap back to Maxine. I believe this is like the fourth or fifth iteration of kind of going through the hallway if you're doing it correctly. And then you'll go forward to the right hand side, look out this window next to the washrooms and you'll see gigantic squirrels. Snap a photo of them. Shortly after figuring out the endless hallway section, you'll snap back into the school area, but everything will be completely backwards. You'll end up inside of the main kind of foyer of the school, turn to your right hand side from where you entered, and you'll see the skeleton. You'll want to walk up to the skeleton and take a photo. But because we're in backwards land, we've already taken the photo, and instead we're going to open up our journal, and we're going to untake the photo in order to get this achievement or trophy to unlock. So So 
So you'll end up in a little bit of like a mini stealth section where you have to sneak through an art gallery and then you'll end up in a locker section where you're sneaking by lockers. Um, so all you want to do is time the flashlight movements of your kind of enemies and make sure you sneak by them without getting caught. We are in the locker section right now. We've snuck by our first enemy uh, or person. We've snuck by the second person right here. And we're going to take a right hand turn. Let the janitor pass in front of you here and then hook around again to the right. We would have continued going forward in order to progress the level, but we have to hook around here. And this is the only way you can gain access to this area. And you'll end up finding Warren's locker. Open up Warren's locker to find these kind of slightly disturbing pictures of yourself and whatever, and then snap a photo of them after you've inspected them. What's up with you and that? Just in case I need evidence. Friends with the Tabanga. The squirrels hate you. And they're hungry. Max, imagine if we were in that dark room together. Shortly after the locker sneaking section, we'll make our way to a junkyard sneaking section where you have to find all five bottles. I'm only showing you me collecting two. The bottles are very easy to find, but you will need to collect all five of them. The junkyard's very small and it's not the full actual junkyard. It's like a nightmare version of the junkyard. You should be able to find the bottles within three to five minutes max. After you find all five bottles, you can go to the very end of this section where you'll see five bottles on a desk. And then once you see all of these bottles on the desk and have collected all the five bottles, you'll be able to snap a photo of them. As soon as you snap a photo of them, they will all break. For whatever reason, the achievement did not show up on my screen, but I definitely did get it. I will show you proof after. Thank you guys for watching my full series of the Life is Strange optional photos guide. I hope you found the whole series helpful. I hope you can share it with a friend if you did. Make sure you drop a like. And if the Life is Strange series continues, you can count on me for videos. Thanks for watching. And hopefully, i see you next time. Peace.